I love your interface, the, especially the minimal part that you have this minimalistic design. You scan the product, and it tells you happy or sad. Happy means good product, sad means bad product. For the subject uh, user interface design, um, we designed uh, a project named Buzzle. Uh, it's a puzzle that will be placed at uh, bus stops. It should, be, uh, should make uh, waiting at a bus stop more fun to do and it should increase uh, social interaction on Facebook as well. Uh, hello everyone, I'm Pascal and I am uh, the group leader of our project, the Alkaline Arcade. Um, we've worked very hard on this for the past semester, actually six months. And the reason we did this project is because the Dutch government has one big problem, and that is that they cannot get people to recycle their batteries. The organization responsible, called Stibot, Stichting Batterijen, has tried again and again for different ideas to get this thing functioning. And so far they haven't succeeded. According to our user research, the problem was that um, people are selfish. People don't want to actually go through the effort and not get anything back. So our solution, in the end, turned out to be actually giving back to the people and making the whole process fun and enjoyable. And that is what our Alkaline Arcade actually represents. It's aimed at children from six to nine, and it makes turning in your batteries fun and enjoyable, and you actually get something material back in the end. So user interface design is the process of designing usable interfaces for, for instance, computer systems. Uh, this is a really multidisciplinary field, so you can approach this from, from technology, for instance. There's a, a computational part, but there's also an evaluation part and a design part. And there it's important to do empirical research to study what users require, what good designs are, how they appreciate these designs. And this is clearly related to communication and information sciences because you want to convey information and you want to see how people perceive that information and appreciate it. So while walking on a train station, uh, you have to catch your train, you have to be quick about that, but uh, often you don't have enough time to look at all the signs. And let's be honest, there are a lot of those signs. So what we uh, set out to do is create a smartphone application that uh, combines all those signs and really just gives you all the information you need in one glance. Most applications that exist are really not optimized for small screens. Uh, what we try to do is, well, to make that optimized. So just one glance and you see everything. Uh, I'm Tessa from Group 17, uh, the Rescue Rangers. We made this project for the course User Interface Design and it's about a uh, household application uh, for student households so they can organize their cleaning, money, uh, finances, the shopping lists are joined and um, this will help them to keep their household organized. The reason why this course is organized the way it is um, in terms of projects and in terms of uh, groups is because in real life uh, user interface designers never work alone. They are part of a very large process, have to cooperate with people in different phases of a user interface project. So that's the reason why we try to mimic um, the same process, real life process, in the duration of the course. Holland's largest annoyance is dog poo. And with this, the Snoop Dogg, we tackle this problem. Uh, it is a multimedia machine on which uh, dog owners can get tax reduction or win uh, dog prizes for their own dog. We have these three sponsors over here, but these are just pet stores. But I can imagine that larger sponsors want to be on the screen yeah. and have larger prices, such as flight tickets or something like that. Yeah. And also, in my opinion, I also think that uh, this thing can go on the whole screen, actually. So it's not going to happen that you only have sponsors at the bottom. You know, you have the slideshows no, exactly. for five minutes or three minutes, and then somebody comes in press the button and then you know this uh, this advertisement goes away so you have much more bigger screen more place and much more revenue for different city councils so and then you have this more personalized screens at the yeah. bottom actually yeah I think yeah we developed a uh, mobile application for uh, international students so they can integrate and uh, come together in their uh, student society so um, please download the app and have a nice student life <laughs>